Hey guys, we're doing a special today. Um, we need to address an issue that popped up. Those of you who chose to use deal method one uh, found yourself kind of at a loss with the couple of recent videos because we were talking about playing cards and that's not necessarily something that you would do in a deal method one type game. So we're gonna do a little bonus video here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to display your hand in one of those types of games, the ones that use deal method one, where you don't actually play a card, so it wouldn't be appropriate to remove it from your hand. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, in the last video, we created this show card function, and we called it along with a couple of other things like play card. Show card updated the UI, whereas play card actually removed it from your hand and added it to a game board. Well, we don't really need the game board too much, but we are gonna be showing some cards here. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. This function is most appropriately called after the cards have been dealt to your hand. But keep in mind, um, we were dealing cards to every player and we're only interested in showing the cards for your own hand. So there are different ways you could go about this, but basically you wanna keep track of which player is yourself. And right now that's an integer, which is an index in the player class. So if we could just look at the index, we would be able to figure out which one is ourselves. Let's go under the assumption that your player is index zero. Okay, and there are different ways you could keep track of your index, but let's just say your player's index zero. Then we would wanna show all the cards for index zero. So we're gonna say, uh, we'll write a loop here for int i equals zero, i is less than players dot length, i plus plus, and then we're gonna check in this um, player's array, which one has the index zero. And we wanna store some kind of information. So we can create an int, um, which player am I? So right now we'll start it off at zero, and then we'll run it through this loop and figure out which player you actually are. So we're gonna say if players i dot, and we're looking at the index, equals equals zero, then which player am I equals I. So we'll be the player whose index is zero. Okay, so that's really all we needed to do in that loop. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say for int i equals zero. And this time we're gonna loop through that player's hand. i is less than, oops, players, which player am I, dot hand dot length. I plus plus, so we're gonna loop through every card in their hand. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call show card players dot hand, oops, sorry, players, uh, which player am I, dot hand. And then we wanna go into the ith card. All right, and what that should do for us is it should um, make our cards visible. So let's just make sure that all of this looks okay. I think it's gonna be good. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out. So we'll go back to Unity and then hit play, and this should play every card in player zero's hand. Oh, you know what? We're not using deal method one, so we're gonna have to change it back. Uh, let's go ahead and in our start function, Let's change it back to deal method one so that I can match up with uh, the games that you guys are using. So I'm gonna open that one up and then comment out this block right here. This was the deal method two block. And let's see if this works. So it should show every card in player zero's hand. Perfect. So we got the zero of hearts all the way up to the six of hearts. Remember, we're not shuffling for debugging purposes. So there you have it. Um, that's how you display your hand in a card game where you're not really gonna be playing cards. That way a player can look at their own cards. Um, keep in mind, if this is a networked game, you're only gonna wanna display the cards for the player himself. You wouldn't wanna display everybody else's cards, unless of course that's part of your game. All right, um, hope that helped. See you guys later in the next video. Uh, we're gonna do some fun stuff.